were here last time, there was uh, snow on the pitch the day before, but uh, Murrayfield's a pretty cool place to play, so um, yeah, I really enjoy it when it's not snowing. <laughs> The challenges that we face on this tour is we've got five tests in five weeks and we've got a midweek game in the middle of that. We've got a squad of 35, that's another challenge is to, you know, there's going to be 13 guys that don't get to strip every week is to make sure they keep contributing to the team and ensuring that the 15 that take the field really get the absolute best preparation they can for Saturday. In the Scottish game, this is the fourth time I've played Scotland and it's never been an easy one. And last year, even though we won 40 odd nil, well, they'd played their second string team and it was it was a it was a niggly game, it was physical. You know, we're playing four teams that are in the top eight in the world and every one of them is a you've got to be performing to your best. You know, they they all rise to play in the All Blacks, well that's the way it feels anyway. Boys, jogging in. Oh, <laughs> yeah, legs apart, fellas. Yeah. Legs apart. Okay, heel down. Heel down. I guess the training during the week varies to whether you've played on a Saturday. Like, if, if I've played on a Saturday, especially a test match, for the first two days of the week, Sunday, Monday, and it's all about getting your body right to be able to function for the following week. By Tuesday, you're starting to come right, and that's usually if we're going to have a physical training, that's when that happens. Crouch, touch, pause, and go! Squeeze, get it on! And squeeze! You know, it's just little bits, but just to keep keep going, especially in a, in a tour, for example, you know, you just, you're not going to get any better at things, you just want to maintain. I always think Tuesday is the day to look back on the game you've just played and look at what you need to get right for that didn't work from last week and usually we review as a team, the coaches, you know, show you the good things and the bad things. Boys, just before we go back into it, remember our leading hand is the one that gives us the direction. All right, a lot of us are just chucking it out here, chucking it down there, chucking it up there. That's where the ball's going, where it's going. Watch her concentrate on finishing with both hands at the target. Go, Dizzy. Well, it depends on the week, but um, Wednesday's off, often off. Thursday will be a bit shorter training. Uh, starting to narrow the focus a bit. Friday captains run, game day Saturday. So it's, it's a typical week for if you're playing Saturday to Saturday. I guess when you're on tour, it's easier to get caught up in rugby for, we're away for six weeks, you know, be rugby every day, but you'll be a bit careful about doing that, that um, you can't look crazy. We're racing pig. <laughs> piglet number one, please. Piglet number one. Piglet number one. Yeah, piglet number one. And many two, please. Well, hey, you've got tickets for pig number one. Yeah! <laughs> Again? <laughs> Um, 
the captain's run is the is the training the day before a game, and it's usually pretty short. Uh, it's just to make sure the guys have uh, feel like they've they're ready to play. Really, it's a little bit just to fill in, you know, to do something the day before, but just to tick off the boxes of how we're going to play. And and the coaches don't usually have anything to do with it. The, the captain usually it's it can do <laughs> you pretty much get open license to do what you like, but. The way I approach it is that uh, you know I see what's happening happen during the week and, and talk to the guys that, um, you know, that again the, the senior guys of Dan Carter for example you know see what he reckons we need and then we'll just just run through it uh, for as long as we need and then we go down to the ground that we're playing and shut the ball around there and just to, again make sure that we've got it all nailed. It's a chance to narrow the focus, you know, you're talking about the coaches all talking, but just to bring in and, and players just take over themselves, which effectively on the Saturday is what you need to take over yourselves anyway, and, and that's what the, the captain's on all about. The extra responsibilities of being captain, there's, there's a few of them. The first, the first and most important responsibility is you go out and you perform and you deserve your place in the team and you, you contribute like uh, as well as you can every week. That, that's the first box to tick and that's something that you look, you know, perhaps most of your work's got to go into. Good height. And a bit of off-field stuff like uh, you know, a bit of media after, straight after a test which isn't the easiest thing to do. Five test matches and five weekends against good opposition uh, isn't is easy. And it's just having a feel for it, and that, that doesn't happen straight away. You've got to, I think you learn as you go. You know, I've, this is my third year as captain, and uh, I'm still learning a lot. For the test matches, we get a, a new jersey every game. Um, and they're uh, pretty unique because you can't actually see when you watch on TV, but they have um, embroidered black on black. Uh, the game and the date and where it's played and then down at the bottom they'll have uh, your name and the num what number cap it is so it's pretty unique and that's, that's the one thing that distinguishes a test jersey from what you can buy in the shops and the all black jersey is something that you put a lot of work into earn and I, I don't believe it's something you should be able to go and buy. <laughs> It was a great stadium to play in, and you know, it was a lot of noise. You know, right on half time to, to get the, the seven points was pretty critical, and then came out in the second half. Uh, and I thought the majority of that was, was pretty good, really. We uh, got some quick ball and were able to play some good rugby. Bad notes here. Hey. <laughs> See ya. Cheers, boys.